Hello and welcome to this guide from horseracing.net, which will help you learn how you can easily open an account and deposit funds into your online horse racing betting account. All of the sites on horseracing.net have been fully vetted not only by us, but by the gambling boards for each state that allows horse racing betting to legally take place. You can be assured that any transactions you make, provided they're legal to do so in your state, are fully compliant with U.S. law. This means that if you have any dispute in the future, the sites are fully regulated in the U.S. and your money is safe and secure, unlike offshore companies that you may have come across in the past. Opening an account with most legal licensed operators is a straightforward process. You can do it in under two minutes. Before you begin, it is always useful to have the following documents and information ready. 1. Your credit card, as you have to pay to bet, I'm afraid. 2. Your address. You need to be in one of the states that allows you to place bets on horse racing, and each state has different operators. You can find more information on our site. And three, your social security number. Well, not the whole number, just your last four digits so that the operator can prove to the government that they are taking the legal steps to ensure that you are allowed to place a bet. Let's begin. For this example, we will open an account with Bet America. Enter your legal first and last names, followed by your email address. You will also want to put in any offer codes that give you bonuses. If you've come from our site, they should automatically fill in, but do check before you proceed. In this example, you can see that Bet200 has come through, and the highlighted green text has confirmation that you should get your bonus. Next is your registered address. Entering your zip code should fill in some of the fields for you, and once you've completed this section, click Next. Your username and password, the most important part of your sign-up. Choose a username that you will be able to remember, and a password that is not easily forgotten, though still secure. Next is your date of birth, social security number, and cell phone number. All these combined will enable the company to prove that you are indeed who you say you are. Then hit sign up and your account is created. Next you need to put some money into your account to place your first bet. Choose Fund, and you'll be taken to a list of available methods. Most come with fees, and in this example, we'll use our Visa slash MasterCard, which has a $5 fee per deposit. Just type your 16-digit number into the box, combined with your expiration date and CVV number, the three-digit number on the back of your card. You of course need to decide how much you want to deposit, and Bet America clearly shows how much you are putting into your account and the fees involved. In this example, we are putting $20 and the total amount that will be charged to your card will be $25. Click Deposit and give the site time to communicate with your card provider. Once completed, you will get an on-screen notification of your successful deposit. Now, you're ready to place a bet. On the Bet America homepage, you will be shown a list of all the next available races. In this example, we're going to look at the racing at Indiana Grand, race 5. We will then be shown a list of all the starters for this race. We've chosen lucky number 7, over the blues. And once selected, a red check appears next to his number and opens the bet slip, which you will see on the right hand side of the screen. To keep it simple, we're just going to place a win bet and select an amount of $4 by changing the bet size in the drop down menu. Once we're happy with the selection, we choose Submit Bet, and that's it, our first bet is placed. 